Yellow and good morning viewers and listeners. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you are a regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment. Also share our video so that others may as well see what we do here. Because our mission has been to give you current affairs in real time. So the story that we have today is that of the trio of Kope, Monzora and Komichi. We have all seen and we have all heard perhaps the story of the faction, factionalism that bedeviled the main opposition party in Zimbabwe. The background of the story being that prior to the 2018 water elections there was a split into the MDC alliance and the MDC team. The MDC alliance was then led into the election by Vachamisa and the MDC team was led into the election by Tokozani Kupe. People didn't know is it MDC team, is it MDC Changirai or is it MDC Tokozani. But whatever the case might be, the split led to a more further breaking of the opposition party which my which was on the basis of constitutionalism they were arguing to the ascendancy of chamisa from his post as secretary for policy and research was not constitutional so they challenged the, the matter up then up to the ascension of chamisa to the post of vice president yeah aka gadzwa iye na the late morgan changirai may you so rest in peace and it said guys that a lot of people are now attributing the problems in the MDC to Changirai. Hansi Nevanu, he had some, uh, some characteristics. He hid those characteristics from, uh, from all body. And this led to uh, the split. To the split, to the MDC 99, the, to the split, MDC N, to the split. Even in our BT version of more to PDP, is it is a way of a part of the button as is a button as is it a alliance? Vangavasiana ideology, Vangavasiana tactic, Vangosana Mabatu is in Nava Changirai, and then they decided what to go on separate ways. But now the issue is between Kupe and Chamisa. It's a story, it's a story of constitutionalism and law. But the people of us of Zimbabwe are arguing that yes, the law in Ogonongeka Kanganiswa, but politics means people. Vanu Varukuda, Mpano Chidik Vanuda, Mpano Majigis, Vanu Varukuda, Akampana Kikari's mark. And what they have they don't have the people. The MDCT group Yawa Kupe don't have the people, but they have the constitution with the backing of the best constitutional lawyers Zimbabwe ever got in the name of Douglas Monzora and Love Mo Maduku. Love Mo Maduku Mnomzvere. And that is not the story for today. The story for today is that of Isaac Komichi. There is a controversial machine based preacher Vanonzeva. Isaac Komichi, who has invited the trio of Douglas Monzora, Milgen Komichi, and Tokozani Kupe to his house for a cleansing and baptism ceremony. And Zoni Nava, Isaac Komichi, Kupe Monzora, Nakomichi, Gawa Webdin Kwangu Vitasi, Timbova Baba Tiza, Nekuva Chenesa, Makomichi claims. The three we have got a case which will be removed so that they can go on and join advocate Nelson Chamisa Wamba Diawamba and ask for a for an apology. And after these prayers are done, after the removal of the cases, after everything, after all said and done, the trio Varufana Kuzoyenda Kunoti Sori Kuna Va Chamisa. We don't know what is only how far true is the group but just a background on va as a committee it is said as a committee is the leader of calvary prayer group and the president of a vulnerable youth support network trust va committee so they need the three to confess their sins so in his own he said in his own words rather he said, I have written an invitation letter to Douglas Monzora, Morgan Komichi, and Tokozani Kope. I want them to confess their sins and I will then baptize them. As I see things right now, the three are unclean before the Lord. We don't know 
the uncleanliness irikutaurwa nyava makomichi but it's alleged kuti zoni ndiyo yakaita kuti vabude mu people's party and itika and maybe it has got anything to do with kana makaona this other video yava kupi vari pamakuva vachipfuga mapfugama and kete kuti vaite zvangu kuti chivanhu chacho ndechei ichocho pamwe ndo mamwe emasins acho and the people started talking kuti that in bebuyu pange pari twangira yari mpenyu she never got near twangira my last day twangira ichi richa out to huya tisangani tigadzirise zvino iya isa huya but now twangira is late takumuona achi no pfugama pa kuva achikumbira and even ko pleja ko chengeta ani nai gogo changira igo gogo changira itinoziva tese gogo changira itakavaona tese panhamo gogo changira vaisada mufana wechidiki wamba dia wamba so anzi zoni nava makomechi if the trio do not confess their sins they will not go anyway is i have said before the three must confess because if they do not confess the country will not move forward so he also added kuti every political leader must be clean i hope when this message will get to them so that they will be cleaned kuti susu even my challenges at ngada it kusangana nawo mudzimba kungava kushaya chikafu ngava kumira ma cues a tikangonziva kuti the trio vababatidzwa va confess according to ma kupe zvino zvinobva zvatona aka naika maze aise committee rather also added kuti the three will take note of my advice because i am instructing them from a from a prophetic office guys we come from the age of prophets we have got so many prophets upon us right now and it might be noticed as we are a blessed generation we are a chosen generation ma prophets acho akawanda ane ma tactics anosiana siana vamwe vanouya vachipioneer inonzi iyo forensic prophecy vamwe vachuyo nemahenga vamwe vanotoya kana ne doom it is variation but the goal is one to prophesy and to deliver chi vanhu from whatever the problems that, that we might be facing but we have now Isaac Komichi who is pledging to pray to bapt to baptize and to anoint vanakupe so that they can go and ask for forgiveness from chamiza and it we hope they will heed the call we hope they will con at least consider the call yeah Isaac Komichi the controversial preacher has been criticized for administering what he calls the anointed herb to women and girls across the country also last week an association of sex workers in Mashingo threatened to sue Prophet Makomichi for disrupting their activities. So, Varitori Pafa Hasha, Prophet Makomichi, Varitori Pafa Hasha. And I have seen good a lot of times, Munanoya Arifaya brand, a prophet, Achidai so A lot of people misinterpret them and they start having their own conclusions as to whether or not they are really speaking from the prophetic office. We have seen it happen with a uh, proposition java we have seen uh, it happen with even prophet madungwe prophet madungwe the guy vanoenda kunoona mwari vachinoya nema message vachinoya nema awards vachinoya nezvakawanda they have been criticized in one occasion i interviewed va madungwe vakataro no the messages that i preach i do not preach for this generation i preach for the next generations for the generations to come even jesus in his own times people misunderstood him so i understand if everyone misunderstands me and called me crazy for a moment there guys and akatombo funga kuti yes 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 chibaba he knows what he is doing chibaba che prophet so kuti ezve zvinhu tova tsvaga ndati wasuwa prophet madungwe we are going to line up some interviews on this channel and edika so guys that's what we have for today we hope whoever receives this message if he is good uh, access cannot if he, they can reach out to kupe monzora na komichi they must tell them kuti zoni hands we are tmuna matirwe hands imimi you are kissed according to this publication and you are kissed and you need to be prayed for so that you can go back and apologize to nani other than mufana wechidiki wamba dia wamba advocate Nelson Chamisa who is currently in 
twists and turns as to what to do nezvakaitika kopati yao it's a lot to take in and we understand kuti kana achida nguva yekunyazori group let him take his time asima zimbabweans anita achiluza patients i see pa twitter people popoting popoting vanhu vachipopota kuti arota zemvezu is too silent but i mean whatever they are wrong is that no goda as zimbabweans kugara zvakanaka so if my committee is saying kuti tigare zvakanaka we need and a kupe to be prayed for gava yindi vano na matirwa for for this with this guys i say bye for now please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time if you're regular share our videos share 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 we love you thank you for listening